We've been waiting for a while for some sort of a solution to this. And as you, already, you, blah, blah, blah. as you guys already know, Corsair came out with their 12 volt adapter cable replacement thing and so have so many other power supply companies and ATX 3.0 power supplies and stuff. But the problem with these, as I should have had this ready to go, is the fact that they still stick out so freaking far from the side of the power or the graphics card. And depending on the tower that you have, you have a big old GPU like the Strix here, that when you put this in there and you go to close your side panel, it won't close. Well, guess what? The 12 volt adapter, 90 degree adapters have finally arrived from Cable Mod and we have a couple to look at. Hey, Day. Day. Mm. Day. What? We got work to do. Yeah, I'm playing World of Warships. Yeah. World of Warships is the free to play naval strategy game where you command the most iconic and famous warships from World War I and World War II recreated with stunning detail and accuracy. Build your fleet while participating in various game types while upgrading your ship's arsenal along the way. New players who sign up using my link below will receive an exclusive starter pack to get you up and running quickly by receiving seven days premium time, one million credits, 300 doubloons, and the tier five premium ship, the Exeter. So what are you guys waiting for? Start sinking ships with World of Warships by heading to the description below and getting your freebies. All right, so now that I've created a mess to clean up here, the reason why I have a couple different graphics cards on here, well, three different ones, technically, is because I want to see how these fit in graphics cards that maybe have recessed uh, plugs that are not even with the outside of the cooler. Like, do they stick in? Like, will they fit? Um, my, I am using one of these at home, actually, on my Strix 4090 uh, that's water-cooled with the Vector 2 block, so I want to point that out. So initially, Cable Mod was like, hey, do you want to do a video about these? Um, 90 degree adapters and I was like why what video would there be to do they're 90 degree adapters it's like the plug you're looking at only it's 90 what's it's rigid it's so hard to talk about with that well I got these yesterday and I started looking at them and I was like oh there's actually more here to talk about so there's a 90 degree adapter there's a 180 degree adapter there's a variant A and a variant B and I basically took a minute for me to kind of figure out what the variants were and how they worked and I thought it'd be important to maybe just kind of show you guys today do they fit on the different size graphics cards um, and show you what the different variants mean and we have a bunch of different colors here so I've got a 90 degree variant A and a 90 degree variant B the simplest way to explain this is the fact that the variant is the direction it's going to be facing when it's plugged in so if we kind of take a look at our graphics cards here I'll put the Zotac here, that's a 4080, and I'll put the Strix 4090 on top of it. You can see that the plugs are 180 off from each other. So one has the tab on the top, one has the tab on the bottom. So that's gonna correlate with your variant. And I'm gonna refer to the clip as top or bottom. They might refer to it as the four pin sideband as top or bottom, but I'm gonna refer to it as the clip being on the top or the bottom. So the Strix card has the clip facing up. The Zotac card and the Founders card and any other card that also has the clip facing down. So we've got up and we've got down. So let's take a look at both of these here real quick. So variant B, if I don't mix these up, as you can see right here, these are plastic by the way. This is not, actually it might be metal, it's very cold. I think these are metal actually. Anyway, here's a silver. Variant B is clipped down. Okay, so let's keep that in mind. Variant B is where the clip is facing down. Now here's the thing, you could still run this on the other card, it's just, it would then be going up. And that's fine if you want the cable coming from the top of the card. Now here's the thing that I wanted to check and one of the reasons why I'm doing this video. The length of this coming out is gonna determine whether or not it will clear graphics cards like this. Now I was concerned that it wasn't gonna work on my GPU block at home because of the fact that, remember, the Strix block with the, the Vector 2 is like recessed in. However, here's a photo of it installed at home and it clears just fine. So this is where an issue is, it resides with cards like this that have the cooler that stick out past. We can't get anywhere close to doing that if we wanted variant B going downward. Now we could still do it this way, right? With the other variant and have it coming from the top. Here is the Founders Edition card. Clip on the bottom. There you go. So you could see with your 12 volt power cable now, that is how that would look. 
like that, which is a lot more clean than seeing it have this crazy bend. It's easier on the connector, so it has more relief without pulling cables out accidentally. And then the fact that it just allows you to be able to close your side panel if you have a case that's interfering with the plug. There's a lot of people that have sent me photos of their cases with the doors open or off just for other reasons. And, I, and it's because their cables don't, don't clear the side panel. So as you can see now, that gives you a lot of clearance right there. I do have a concern. It's not cable mods problem as much as it's, it is the issue that was causing cards to burn up. Do you see the wobble? The wobble's not in the adapter itself, it's wobbling inside the actual 12 volt plug in the card. And that's some of the issues that were leading to cards that were actually burning up because it was putting more resistance on the, on the pins that were not making full contact. So if you're gonna use the adapter like this, and any plug actually, make sure it's seated all the way down. You don't have to put a lot of force on it. Once it's clicked, it's fine. Just make sure it stays straight. The downside about this particular variant is it's like stuffed away under there. So to unhook this and get it off, you have to use a piece of plastic or something like a spudger tool, something plastic, don't scratch up your card to release that tab and then you can get it off. We'll just leave that one connected for now because I don't have a tool like that here. We do have the 180 variants as well. So if I look at the 180 variants over here, so this is 180 variant B in pink. It's actually kind of nice. I debated putting the pink one or the purple one in my build at home because I have that pink purple theme. But because I'm not using the pink purple cables, I just opted for black, which silver would have also gone really well in my build at home and I might play around with it. But I just wanted to see, will it clear my build at home? And it does, and I was worried about the recess. But unfortunately with cards like this, you can't use a 90 degree adapter for going downward anyway. If we go 90 degree variant A in silver, which is this guy right here, see we got that. So it does work with this card this way. It's just now your cable will be coming from the top and I think that's kind of ugly. So you could use the 180 adapter on there like this and then the cable can come right across the back of the card and go somewhere, which would be a clean install too. You would just be stuck having to do that in this particular instance where, as you can see, the card has a cooler that sticks out. So the same thing exists on the Strix. So you see how the, how the plug is recessed in there? It's like a notch. It's the same thing that exists with the graphics card uh, GPU block from EK Waterblocks, which is why that is, a, is an issue. So I would have to essentially use the same type of plug because a 90 degree adapter technically will click on. The problem is it will, it'll, I think it'll reside within the recessed, recessedness of it. I think that will actually work. And if it does, then that's gonna be clean. Oh yeah. Okay, so it does work on this card. It's just enough. Look at that. So there you go. The Strix card can use the 90 degree either way you want it to go. The Strix, we need a variant A180. That way it can go up and over. So there's a Strix variant 180, like that. Now, in terms of construction, these are all rigid. You can see by looking inside that it is a solid PCB board. So this is soldered to pins, that's soldered to pins. Now that is for sure metal. Oh, look at that. There's like a thermal pad right there. It's actually a thermal pad. So I'm wondering if this thing is designed to somehow handle heat, but anyway, that's what it looks like underneath. It's just a PCB with solder joints and stuff, which are a lot cleaner than the other one was. Okay, so just to recap, and we'll put a chart up on here just to try and make it make sense to you guys. It's up to you to first determine which orientation your graphics card plugs are in, and if there's gonna be any interference with your card, like we see here with the Zotac card that has the cooler that sticks out wider than the PCB, that's on you. If you have a strict style card where the clip is facing up towards the back plate, if you use a 90 degree variant B, that it will be up, okay, towards the back plate. So we're assuming it's horizontal installation and it's towards the back plate. If you're doing vertical, you would probably want that, right? So horizontal, that wouldn't look good. Vertical would look good because it's out of the way. Variant A 90 degree will mount it downward, okay, or towards the fan side of the cooler. So again, if it were vertical, then it's going towards your fans, you don't want that. If it's going down and horizontal, then that's probably what you want, coming up from the bottom up into there. The, 80 deg 80 deg or the 180 degree adapter is the same thing. So the variant A 180 degree adapter, again, goes up, to, I'm saying up, back plate side is what I'm referring to as up. Again, that goes up towards the back plate. And if you're doing a vertical mount, that would also look really clean as well because then the cable can come straight up the back side of the card into it, okay? If you were gonna use variant B, you can't 
because that would flip it around and put it right into the card. So 180 degree adapter on a clip side facing back plate, only 180 degree variant uh, A is gonna be usable. Otherwise it pushes it into the card. It's technically reversed now in which way you want it to go when it comes to a standard card. What I mean by standard, most cards you're gonna find the clip is actually facing you know, the inside towards the card. So what I just said is technically reversed for the standard card. So if we were gonna be using a 180 degree adapter variant A, that one would push it into the card and that won't work. So you would need a 180 variant B for this card. So anyway, we tried to put that up on the screen here and have that make sense. It's up to you to determine whether or not it's gonna clear. And again, then your other choice you have to figure out is what color do you wanna go with? Just basically the color choices are gonna match whatever the choices are for their aluminum uh, cable combs, which you can get with their custom cables and stuff. Anyway, not a video I planned on making because I thought it was just gonna be kind of a mundane topic, but considering the fact that I was barely able to get through this video trying to explain it and putting a chart up, which you know Phil has created, and then obviously there's a chart on Cable Mod's web website, um, you guys can, I guess, good luck. Because it's, it's gonna happen. People are going to order the wrong one, maybe not even realizing there's a variant type. Anyway, moving on guys, thanks for watching. Um, keep an eye on your cards, make sure they're not facing the wrong way, otherwise you're gonna have a problem like with the Zotac card, and then make sure when they're in there that they're seated all the way, because there is a fair amount of wobble available in there. Once you put your cable and stuff on there, you start yanking on it. Be careful, you can easily break the solder right off, like the plug right off the solder joint. Don't go pulling your cables all tight and yanking that because you could damage the card, you could damage the adapter. These aren't cheap adapters. The build quality is there. It's taken them like six months to come out with this. We expected this months ago, but Cable Mods put a lot of R&D into this and testing, by the way. Testing, testing, testing to try and make sure that these were not gonna be introducing any problems into the wild. Hopefully they've done enough testing because no matter how much testing they've done, they will never test as many cards as the general population will when they start installing these. They will start being installed by the thousands at a time and any shortcomings will pop up. So we have to really keep our fingers crossed nothing's wrong with them. That's why I'm running it in my system at home too to see if anything weird happens. It's only been a day so far, everything's good. Thanks for watching guys. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.